guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. We're up and at it early today in the gym. I have a lot to do today, so I needed to get my workout in first thing in the morning. And I just did, I lifted and I'm gonna do, I like to end my workouts with cardio. And yesterday I had a full cardio day, so on the days that I lift, I like to do like 20 minutes of cardio at the end. And I have been loving the Peloton. I talked about in one of my last videos how I've been loving taking the Peloton classes and just come and I have a whole Peloton room at my gym. And I know a lot of gyms have Peloton bikes that you can use and there's like no requirement, you don't have to pay anything. So you just log in with your account on the bike and it's super easy to be able to just take a class and like track all your progress and stuff like that so I'm gonna log into mine right now it's really easy you just scan the code right here on the screen and then it'll pop up and you can just log right in love how there's so many classes to choose from I love Cody he's my favorite I also love how there's different times like like I said I like to do like a 20 minute cardio after I lift okay I've done this one before and this one's really good let's do the 20 minute 2000s ride Ride. We've got some Y2K on. Check out Peloton's amazing holiday offers. And then I'm meeting Graydon in Seaport because he has an event and I'm really excited. So I'm his plus one to the event. <laughs> Obviously bringing you guys along, but I'm going to get my teeth whitened professionally at Boston Dental today. And I'm very excited because I have been really wanting to whiten my teeth and I haven't gotten it done in a really long time. I used to do just like the at-home white strips, but a few years ago I got veneers. I got four veneers and you can't use like the whitening strips anymore because you're not supposed to put them over your veneers or something. I don't know. I just like am freaked out by it. So I got them professionally whitened when I got my veneers on three years ago and I can't believe it's been three years already. And so I'm going to get them whitened and just doing a little bit of makeup. I like don't want to put makeup on at all right now, but I feel like, I mean, obviously I'm going in public. I need to look presentable. But I just got a facial the other day and like, you know, I don't know, my skin has just been feeling so fresh and new, like rejuvenated that I just like didn't want to put anything on. And plus it's like freezing out today. I need to get my eyebrows done also. A little bit of bronzer. It's crazy what like a little bit of makeup can do, like confidence wise. <laughs> you know, I feel like just when I have like a tiny bit on, it always makes me feel so much better even though I hate like the feeling of it on my skin during the day. I'm doing my two favorite blush shades, Rosy and Chili, the little mini Say blushes. I love that they come in like a trio. They also have this color, Baby, which I love. And I like mixing them all. They look really good together. And they come in a pack like this. So I feel like it's the perfect little gift idea for Christmas if you're like looking to get something for like a sister, mom, you know, like any woman in your life, I feel like it would be a really good gift. Even if you like wanna ask for something from like your boyfriend, that little blush duo I feel like is perfect. Blush trio, I should say. I feel like there's like hair stuck to my face right now today. I don't know why. I'm gonna add a little bit of the pink pink to my cheeks just because I'm wearing my pink coat today. I'm gonna set my face, Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. We're gonna do a tiny bit of mascara. We need to curl the lashes. I always get mascara over my eye. I just take a little Q-tip and wipe it right off. The worst is when you like forget to do this <laughs> and then you go out and you like have mascara on your eye. One time it happened to me when I was on the bus in middle school and someone said it to me and I was like, oh my God. I was so embarrassed and just doing a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. Okay, I'm gonna add a lip gloss or like a lip balm when I get downstairs. I just don't have a good one up here right now. They're all in my bags. And that is the 
makeup today. Just something light, fresh to, you know, enhance. I just got in the car. And it's crazy when you like do your makeup in your house. I swear the lighting in my bathroom is just like not good. Even when I'm not home and I'm at like a hotel, I, I like look at my makeup and I'm like, wait, it looks so much better, but it's legit just the lighting. Not that it looks bad right now. I'm saying like it, I thought it looked bad on camera when I was at my house and then I got in the car and I'm like, wait, it actually doesn't even look bad. I was talking to my friend Kaylee the other day and I was just like, well, we were both saying how we know like which makeup products we like and there's so many I feel like people on TikTok that talk about makeup and show like different makeup products and it makes you want to be like like you see a makeup look on somebody and you see like a blush shade or like a lip that they're wearing and you're like I need that well you think that you need it like I've been guilty of this too where I've like seen something and been like oh my god I need that gone out bought it and then I'm like it comes in I'm like this doesn't even look good on me <laughs> the shade is not my shade I think I just liked it on the girl but it like doesn't work for me and we were talking about how we just have like makeup routines that we love and just products that look really good and makes me really happy because I feel like I have found my products, like my holy grail. I hate to say holy grail, but it's true. I feel like some of the products that I've been using, I really have been using for years. Like I used to try to use all clean makeup. This was back in like 2019, 2020. And then I realized I was like, I need to just use things that okay y'all i hate to be that person but like come on these people are all looking down at their phone in the lights and green yeah and then i feel like i started using products that like were really working for my skin like i used the giorgio armani foundation which i never really was a foundation person and once i found that one like i love it and now i'm like i don't know how i went without wearing foundation at night because that one's so lightweight and it just like makes your skin feel light and I really like that and then obviously like the milk contour sticks the blushes I showed you guys earlier and I don't know I just feel like I have a really good routine right now <laughs> a really good makeup routine and it just makes me happy I'm like I'm never switching my products because I just love what I use right now and I feel like I've spent so much money on makeup in the past and it's just been such a waste because I mean unless you really like <laughs> trying makeup or you're like a makeup artist but I just feel like for me when I had so much makeup like an excess amount I was like I never knew what to use like I obviously wasn't going to use a full product all the way through and it was just like such a waste because makeup does expire oh my god I forgot my water at my house I'm like I knew there was something that I forgot I brought my vlog camera I got my lip liner, I have my lip balm. I was literally gonna bring my, I got a new, not a disposable camera, what is that thing called? Digital camera on eBay. And it just came in the mail this morning and I wanted to bring that with me, but I'm like, wait, I'm going to an event with Graydon and I'm going to get my teeth white and like I don't need to bring my digital camera with me. But I'm excited to use it and like take pictures at night because my friend Liv had one and the pictures came out so good. I was like, wait, I need a digital camera. So I got one. Okay, well, love you guys. Hey guys, what's up? We're at Converse. I don't want to get copyrighted. thing on YouTube. Right. I can't even see my head. <laughs> Lola. Lola. <laughs> yeah. Guys, okay, so I finally just got home and just took off my makeup. The camera's like getting like stuck lately. I'm about to take a bath. I'm like, look, this is my Laneige. I'm like scraping every little last bit out of this Laneige peppermint lip mask. But oh my god, my skin feels like so gross from wearing makeup today. I don't know what it is, but like some days when 
I wear makeup like during the day it just makes my skin like feel so gross and I really I like want to put a face mask on right now because technically you're not supposed to go well my esthetician says that you're not supposed to take a bath without like something on your skin like a mask or something to keep like a barrier and keep your skin moisturized and I just like I don't feel like putting one on right now but I know it's going to be better for my skin so we're going to do it we're going to do the Jan Marini Illuminate face mask and my teeth are feeling very sensitive right now after whitening them. Can you tell that they're white? Like, I don't know. Also, I'm not the best at smiling with my teeth. Don't judge. Because I feel like my whole life I was insecure about my smile and I would just like smile, like soft smile. And then finally a few years ago, I obviously got the mirrors like I talked about. I only got four. These one. And two, three, four. And I still like, I don't know. I'm not used to it 100% yet. Like sometimes when I smile, I still smile with my mouth closed. And I'm like, wait, why am I doing that? So I feel like my skin's really dry right now, which I, well, because I just washed it. Like took my makeup off, which doesn't help. But I mean, they're so sensitive right now. And they look a lot whiter in the mirror. And I'm hoping it like is fine tomorrow morning, but <laughs> this is the best we're gonna do with the mask. I'm like exhausted. I was up so early this morning to go to the gym because I knew I had a lot to do today. And I'm just like tired. I'm like the type of person where I literally need like nine hours of sleep no matter what. And I'm exhausted. Hold on, I'm gonna go and turn off the bath. Like I was like talking over myself, but I feel just like exhausted. I need like nine hours of sleep a night. I'm not even kidding you. I went to bed at like 11 last night and I woke up at 7.45 and that like wasn't enough. <laughs> that like wasn't enough sleep for me. I was like trying to nap while I was in the chair getting my teeth whitened, but it just like wasn't working. Yeah, Graydon and I went to Lola and it was really good. We got the miso halibut and we got yellowtail nigiri with truffle oil and sea salt. We got cranberry moons miso soup and ended it off with a pretzel parfait and i'm feeling bloated i'm gonna take this isn't sponsored but i'm gonna take the detox and deep bloat by js health i like to take these like if i've had a meal where i just feel very full also i have a discount code it's 15 maggie these are the best to blow pills ever I just got a brand new bottle. I need to like, I'm gonna use my new toothbrush. <laughs> Try to pop that open. But I just got a new bottle. I tried these for the first time when Emma and Peyton got engaged. Like the day they got engaged. If you go back and watch Emma's engagement vlog. I was so bloated that morning. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I'm so bloated, like I'm so uncomfortable. I knew obviously that we were gonna be taking like a million photos <laughs> that day. So I was like, I need to take something that's gonna make me not bloated. Emma was like, oh my God, I have the best of blow pills. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, JS Health. And I was like, wait, how have I not tried those? So they're like huge. You take two of them, they're like massive, but they really work. And I like to take them like, Especially because they're detox, diplo, like they're diplo and detox pills. So I like to take them at night, especially if I just went out to dinner and I've had, like I had a lot to eat, you know? And I just feel like uncomfortable. And they're vegan, non-GMO. Also, the diplo is from fennel. Or the detox and diplo is from fennel seed and turmeric and milk thistle, which is really good for just like detoxing and obviously getting rid of like all that so these are huge i'm gonna take a bath now i feel like i haven't had time to just like sit even when i was getting my teeth whitened i told them i'm like i don't want to watch netflix i just wanted to try to like close my eyes and chill and i like even then couldn't even go on my phone because i had like the thing in my face so i feel like i haven't gone on my phone so i'm excited to just like get in the bath, go over some emails and answer texts and stuff because I like haven't been on my phone all day. And oh, I just did a bubble bath with Necessaire Eucalyptus Bubbles, like the body wash. Dim the lights and I can't wait to just like relax and chill. Morning, you guys. Oh my God, last night, 
I got in bed so early, like 8 o'clock, and I was like, gonna fall asleep early because I like to sleep for a really long time. I was in the most excruciating pain. Well, like my teeth are just so sensitive and they hurt so bad. I was like, felt like I could throw up <laughs> because that's how bad they were hurting, but they feel a lot better right now. Like they still feel a little bit weird, honestly, but they feel better. I wore like these little mouth guards last night that I got from my dentist in New York. I put like a gel in it that's supposed to be like relief. So that helped a lot for my top teeth. And yeah, I don't know, it was like so bad, but it feels a lot better. I'm also not allowed to be having anything that could like stain my teeth. So no blueberries, soy sauce, strawberries, red sauce, red wine, stuff like that. And well, obviously no coffee too, unless I drink it out of a straw. So I'm not allowed to have that stuff for a week. And it's like I have a blueberry smoothie every single morning. So I'm like, <laughs> now that I can't have it, it's funny because I'm like, I don't even, I'm not in the mood to eat. <laughs> Cause I just like love having my smoothie. I mean, I could make a different smoothie, but I just love the one that I make. They also gave me a new toothbrush. I'll leave in a little bit. I have a meeting this morning. And I'm gonna do a little bit of this crown affair renewal mask in my hair. I feel like I just need, you know, like something to put over my hair to kind of like tame it. Cause I didn't wash it this morning. And obviously slept on it last night. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this. I really like to either use like a mask or hair oil when I'm like trying to slick my hair back. The other day when I went to the gym, I used a hair oil and I just like put it all in my hair and then let it sit while I worked out. Came home, showered, washed my hair and it was like, made my hair so soft. Also, like helps all the flyaways. Today's like a really rainy day which I was not expecting. It's just like, when it's cold and rainy, I don't like know what to wear. I don't need to be like dressed up or anything, but you know, I can't just wear like leggings, <laughs> which is like what I would want to wear. Is my hair like, why does my hair look like this? Okay, I guess that's just about as good as it's gonna get. It's the next day. <laughs> I'm with Emma right now. We are at Chestnut Hill Mall. And we just got Blue Bottle. We got the Winter Blend, and they have the Winter Blend right now, and it's so good. I've been, like, missing it. <sighs> but we're going to Lululemon right now. Emma was like, I like your jacket, this, like, fluffy jacket that I'm wearing. And I got it from Lululemon, so we're going there right now because she wants to look to see if they have it. We are big Lululemon girls today. <laughs> and we just came to this bakery called Mia's. They have one in Boston, right? In Seaport? There's one in Seaport, and then this one's in Chestnut Hill. Emma got the spinach feta. It's called spinach feta pie, but pie. look at that. It's like, looks like croissant flaky -ness. Like pastry dough. Yeah, and I got the bacon, egg, and cheese, which mm. is on a brioche, and it looks so good. It's good? Okay, no, 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 no. What? The egg just went in my jacket. Take off my jacket when you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm freaking out. You like cannot pick that up. The egg is too runny. Note to self, next time you come to Mia's, don't pick up the bacon, egg, and cheese. Eat it with a fork. Emma's cookies are my Roman Empire. <laughs> this bitch is in the kitchen baking. Wait, which ones are these? These are the oatmeal raisin. Okay, Mac and I requested oatmeal raisin. And I'm making peanut butter. That's Salt. good. Uh, I mean, I had it last night. Cool. And, I'm and it's vegan. Period. And we're eating her leftover pizza. I was a cooker and a baker last night. I cooked. I could I tell, them miss. In the morning, let them sit in the fridge. Oh, look who's here. You're busy. I was a busy Howdy. Girl. Um, I, was being, I was being a housewife. Literally. This reminds me of the pizza my mom used to make when we were little. Really? Same. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. How's the white one? Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Well, it has a lot of garlic in it. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting. Oh, Emma. 
You should hug me and feel how warm I am. Uh, I'm here. gonna, cause I'm freezing. No, I know, I uh... Oh my god. This side. <laughs> hug me right there. Oh my god. Mm. Guys, I'm hot. Hug me in the kitchen. Mm. Maggie, come hang out in the kitchen cause it's hot in here. Great, I'm like... Guys, I'm cold, I'm not usually cold. Can I help? Yeah, my, house, my AC is on upstairs. I know mine is too at night, but then I... Mine is on yeah, too like, at night, like, but then the second I wake up in the morning, yeah. I'm like immediately... Like that? Yeah. Uh, it, like, can we not see it? Here, why don't you put it on my... Like, oh, I'll put it on this charger. Her. Her. <laughs> Isn't it so funny that we just find anything and everything to be a little... I know, you know what's funny? I don't own a tripod. Because <laughs> I just use like... Random shit. Random shit. Random she. Wait, this is so fun. What? Help it. Emma, I really, I really do think you should open up a bakery. You call it Emma's bakery, oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's fucking bakery. Emma's fucking bakery. Emma's fucking cakes. Emma's fucking bakery, you stupid bitch. Are the other ones in here, Emma? No, they're in the fridge. Oh. Where? <gasps> oh, perfect. That's the oatmeal raisin. Those look bomb. Wait, Emma, you know when they put like a Hershey kiss on top? Our cookies are done. Emma, the cookies are done. Oatmeal raisin, peanut butter. Oatmeal raisin, more peanut butter. I finally just got home. I was getting my windows tinted in my car, my windshield at my windows, and the place that I went to is right down the street from Emma's house, so I dropped my car off at nine o'clock this morning because my appointment was at nine and the guy said it was gonna be done at 11. So I was just gonna have her pick me up, we were gonna get food, coffee, and then she was gonna drop me right off after. But then I get there and I go to drop my car off and he was like, okay, the tint guy's gonna be here at one. This at nine o'clock in the morning. The tent guy's gonna be at here at one. Your car's gonna be done at 3.30. And I was like, oh my God, I just drove all the way out of the city. And obviously I don't have a way to get back unless I Uber and then I would have to Uber back there. And like, sometimes there's traffic and it could take like 45 minutes when it's only like 15 minutes away. So I was like, you know what? I'll just like hang out at her house, which I'm glad we got to hang out today. And she obviously made cookies and Graydon came over for a little bit and then he just dropped me off at my car. But I'm like exhausted. But I got this little candle at Blue Bottle, which I thought was so cute. And I got coffee beans, like look at that. It's such a cute like little tiny candle. Cause I do like to burn candles, but sometimes like, I don't want to keep them burning for so long because you have to wait till they burn all the way. And like, see how this one's so small? I feel like if you burn it for like an hour, you can just blow it out and it's not going to be like have that, you know, like it's going to melt all the way. But it smells really good. Notes of coffee blossom, dewy leaves, and fresh moss. And then obviously that glass is so cute. I can't wait to like obviously keep it after. And Mac and I went to dinner last night at Barmazana. And it was so good. And I got little matches. They had matches that you could take. And I was really excited about that because I like save all of them. I'll show you. We're going to go downstairs in a sec. I have my old clothes that I was wearing earlier. I was wearing <laughs> leggings and like a Lulu zip up. But I went to Lululemon earlier and I got a bunch of stuff. So I got the warm revelation gloves for when I'm walking the dogs. You know because it gets cold out there and I got a little pink jacket this is the define jacket cute little pink color we have the Ebb to Street crop tank I used to love this tank top from Lulu the Ebb to Street and before they had like the crop version they did they do free like hemming and alterations at Lulu I used to get all of my tank tops cropped so they came off my favorite tank top in the cropped version. I'm like, Emma, I swear I used to have that tank top that I got cropped like four years ago, five years ago. And now they come out with crop ones. 
And then I also got the Define jacket. This is the cropped one. I like Nulu better than Luan for like the material. The pink one's Luan. And this is Nulu, which is like that really soft aligned pant material. And this is the cropped version, which I wear the cropped black one a lot. And then I have a cropped like ribbed tan one. Or it's like almost like an off-white. Then I got new leggings. I wear the Lulu Align leggings all the time. I got the mini flare leggings, so they're just like a little bit flared at the bottom. I like the aligns because the seam on the butt like goes down like that in a V, and they're just very flattering, and they feel like you're not wearing, like they're like very buttery and soft. And then I got the Lulu, obviously, <laughs> Align high-rise pant, black, plain. Black and then I also got a pair of aligns in like this black ribbed So that's my haul. Oh, and then I came home to a package from Artless times Heaven Mayhem cute little black cami lace, which I love And that's everything that we have for you. Look at what are you doing sleeper. What are you doing? What are you doing? You miss mommy all day because she was gone. Do you smell Cleo guys? Good morning. I don't even remember the last time I vlogged. I feel like I've been like really struggling to vlog this week. Also, don't mind my skin right now. I'm like going through all my makeup and trying to get rid of products that are in my makeup drawer that I like haven't opened that I put to the side because whenever I get PR in the mail, like I always go through it and I put a couple of products to the side from like the box that I get because usually when a company sends you makeup, they send you like every single shade or like every product <laughs> like i'm not even kidding you they send so much stuff which i'm so grateful for but i can't use it all and i'm not gonna use it all you know what i mean so i feel like it just is a waste and yeah so that's why i like to do a lot of giveaways because i get so many products that i'm like i want to be able to share with you guys and either do a giveaway or donate it and i try to like balance between the two of them i did like a bunch of like really big donations and then i did a bunch of really big giveaways so i've been trying to like do a little bit of both to give back to obviously you guys my lovely community and yeah so i'm just going through my makeup this morning i literally haven't even <laughs> showered or anything i just put my hair up i'm still in my robe i had a call it's saturday morning now and i just had a call a little while ago and then after my call I was like ripped apart my whole entire office because I just had bags like when stuff comes in the mail I just throw it into a bag like when I'll undo the box well I'll open up the boxes I'll bring it upstairs to my office and I feel like stuff piles up like I'm already ready to do another giveaway I just did like five giveaways or maybe four and I had like four huge boxes filled with stuff and I'm already ready for more, which is crazy. But yeah, anyway, so I just went through all of my makeup that I keep in this drawer. So I get ready in this bathroom that I have downstairs. I don't keep my makeup in like my main bathroom. Upstairs, that's next to my bedroom. I like to like get ready in this bathroom. I get to keep all my makeup in here because nobody uses this bathroom unless we have guests. So it's kind of just like empty. You know, so I like to get ready in here. Also, I really like the lighting in this bathroom and I just keep all of my like clothes that I hang to dry. So I just went through my drawer. I have these makeup bags from Say and I had all the products in there that I like took out when I would get stuff in the mail and I went through and the stuff that was unused, like still in the box, I added to the giveaway pile because I'm like, if I'm not gonna use it now, I'm probably not going to use it ever, but all these products I have used already. And these are my everyday makeup product. Well, just like my go-to that I bring with me everywhere. I still have to go through that because it's gotten a little crazy. But I keep like my current makeup routine in this bag. But I wanted to kind of organize everything so I'm able to see the products when I open up this drawer. Instead of it just being like all of them in individual makeup bags. So I have a bunch of these candle holders from Diptyque that... Are like all over my house I used to put stuff in and I just thought that I would put my makeup products in them and then just have them all in the drawers so we could do one for like eyebrows I have lip products right here eye products blushes some concealers in the back and then we have like more lip products and other stuff over there so that's what we're working on 
at the moment. I'm glad that I honestly have all of these little containers because I feel like it makes it so helpful. Also, Tarte sent me a PR box with like every single shade of the Maracuja Juicy lip and I picked four. There was like literally 12 of them. And I put, I have Honeysuckle, I know Graydon likes that one. It's like a darker shade. And then I picked another neutral. And then there's two that kind of go with your pH. So those in there, that's like my the start of my lip product thing. And then I have my Tyro 28. These just came in the mail. They're really pretty for the holidays. Like there's this like gold one. And then obviously the clear, which it is a go-to for me and i had another one actually that i was using oh here it is that i was using last night the light pink which i'm gonna keep that in my makeup bag i have another pat mcgrath lip gloss this is just a new one for when i run out some kylie cosmetics see like these aren't gonna fit everything's not gonna fit in here which is fine yeah then we have i guess this one i can use for eyebrow but it's like, do I even need these? Like, I've never even used an eyebrow pencil in my life. So I'm like, these have been, they're not opened. But I'm like, should I put these in the giveaway? Because I don't use eyebrow pencils, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go put this in the giveaway pile. Okay, we have mascara. A couple of eyeshadow sticks. Eyeliner. Oh, this eyebrow gel, I actually just tried out. The Rem Beauty. That one was really good. My eyebrows look good from that. I'm gonna keep that. Obviously, Kosas brow gel, and then I have a Benefit brow gel as well. I got a big package in from Charlotte Tilbury. There's a ton of Charlotte Tilbury products going in the giveaway. I haven't used this setting spray in a while. I'm excited that I have a new one. And yeah, that's just what's going on right now. I'm just gonna try to get all this stuff organized and I'll show you guys the final look when I'm all done. Doing my makeup right now. I want to show you guys the updated little area. So I have like all the, I have more makeup in this little bag right here, but I just need to figure out how to organize it. And then I have all of my clean brushes in this one right here. And we have eye products, lip products, lip products, lip liners, cream blush, a bunch of other like t more tinted, lips right here and then a few just clear i have another little candle holder that is empty but i have in the dishwasher right now and i'm going to put that in it after and then figure out a way to organize all this stuff and then that leaves room for my makeup bag to go right here and then i can just shut it and everything is all nice and organized i'm trying to figure out what lip to wear right now I don't know what it is like I literally always use the pillow talk lip liner and I try to use like different shades of lip liner but none of them look good on me you know what I mean when you just like have one that you like and nothing else is like the same I don't know when you find a good lip at least for me I've like admired what other people have done like other lip combos you know what I mean but I'm like you know those just like aren't for me i can't remember if i talked about it in this video but just like i feel like it's easy to i feel like right now with social media and like the way that it has evolved it's easy for like overconsumption, especially when it comes to makeup like i feel like i watch girls on tiktok and i'm like oh my god i love that lip that they're wearing and i feel like i need it and then i get it and it like doesn't look like the way that it does on the girl i saw on tiktok you know what i mean so I feel like now I'm just like sticking to the stuff that I know and like and that's okay and like I am really trying not to like buy more stuff than I need you know because I feel like it's just a waste so instead of like buying a bunch of different lip liners and trying them to see what I like I know what I like and I don't need to venture out. I don't know what lip I want to wear. I always do this Pat McGrath Lust Lip Gloss and Love Potion. And it's just my favorite. So I think I'm going to wear that one tonight. But I do like that little peach one. I think I'm going to do this. Lust Lip Gloss and Peach Persevision. I remember the first time I ever used a Pat McGrath lip gloss. It changed my life. Changed my life. Yep. Ooh. I need to get my hair done. I haven't gotten my hair done in a minute and I want to get more layers. I feel like I don't have a lot of layers because I had such a little... Remember I had like bangs last year for like little... Last winter my hair was so long. 
and I like stress cut it. Time to get dressed. It's really cold out, so I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I keep leaving my vlog. I keep leaving you guys upstairs. And I was all the way downstairs and like, Graydon, where's my vlog? He's like, oh, it's upstairs. I was like, oh. I just have to run up and get it, but this is my hair. I put a little bow in it and I just threw it up in a messy bun. Outfit, just chill. I'm wearing an Orson Iris top and jeans and then I'm gonna put on these heels. Ready, Graydon? Guys, I'm wearing a fur coat. And that's the tea. Okay, well, I love you guys. I'm not bringing the vlog. I'm actually ending it off here. So we love you guys so Hi. much. Is he honking at us? How rude. <laughs> love you. Bye.